Welcome guys to my 500 subscriber special. Thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. You guys don't even know how much it means to me. Honestly, it means a lot, but I'm going to have a whole thank you video after this, but I'm super happy that you guys, everyone subscribed. It's awesome. Thank you guys so much for 500. But as promised, when I hit 500 subscribers, I will release my microphone settings as well as my uh, render settings. So let's get started so basically I'm gonna first show you guys the microphone settings I use voice meter if you guys don't know how to get that there will be a link in the description on how to get voice meter I don't want to make a long tutorial on how to get voice meter but it's pretty simple there will be a video in the description it helps you out a lot it helped me out a lot it's really simple just follow everything so um, okay so these are, okay so there will also be a link in the description to a media fire link which will have this in it and um, once you go to that media fire link you want to click the download button download it save it to your desktop save it wherever you want to somewhere that you'll remember and keep it because you're gonna want this for a while if you accidentally mess up your mic settings or something so here it is um, it's just gonna be called fiery uh, you can rename it if you want it doesn't matter but once you have that open up your voice meter as I do have mine opened right now and then you're gonna go load settings and then you're gonna go wherever you saved it and it's gonna be fiery and it should be a dot xml file which it is so if I click properties see it is a dot xml file um, so you wanna double click that or click it's opened everything's the same for me because I'm using those mic settings right now so um, yeah so okay so these things right here so stereo repeat both of them should be uh, checked like blue and these should be on mute if you guys don't have that on mute already then like if you don't have those on mute then you'll hear like an echo sound and you just put these on I don't know why you put these on but you're supposed to and these should be on mute but I don't know if the mic settings will do that for you alright so next um, you guys will have this all laid out uh, it'll say microphone blue snowballs these are my headphones and all that that's my uh, microphone for you guys if you guys have most likely you guys have different headphones and different microphone so um, so first let's start off with the microphone so you want to go to hardware input or which is number one to the very left of voice meter and you want to click click on microphone or whatever it'll say right there and you want to choose your microphone mine obviously is the blue snowball which and it says WDM colon microphone blue snowball if you guys have like a blue Yeti it'll say something something you'll be familiar about and something that you probably use often but it's a WDM one usually uh, that's the one I have it's usually around the top but just choose your microphone and make sure it works you can see this over here go up and down and stuff and then to hear like the voice to make it all work as well you need to have your headphones working so mine is this one um, you if you die if you guys don't know which headphones you're using and like it's complicated try all of them um, once you select one you have to close it reopen it select another one if it doesn't work uh, but usually you should know if you have a headset or headphones it'll say something there which one you're using and just uh, click those so that's all for voice meter it's pretty straightforward and simple um, it's just this part can really mess you guys up maybe but it, it's easy if you have a headset or a just like regular headphones uh, mine is a little harder but it's still fine it works perfectly fine so that's mine um, just change yours to whatever headset or headphones or microphone you use and just pretty much load the settings and it'll be all good so next we're gonna go to Sony Vegas and Action um, those are the two recording softwares I use so we're gonna open up Action right here uh, I use Action to record and Sony Vegas to edit my videos if you guys don't use them I recommend getting them it makes your video quality and everything a lot better unless Action just doesn't work for you in general but um, yeah so let's see here I will show you guys how to use Action so um all right sorry about that guys so i just opened up obs to record this action part which because it's a lot easier now 
um, to show you guys how to adjust the settings and all that. So when you have action open, you want to go to the front page of action, which is this. It should look like this. Um, I'll have a link in the description how to get action as well. So once you guys are on this page, uh, just have this like this. All right. Um, sorry about that. I don't know why I said that, but uh, go to game capture, change it if it's on monitor or this one, um, active desktop desktop region change the game capture um that one works best for recording minecraft or recording whatever game you have this tutorial specifically revolves around minecraft render settings but it can work for any other game but uh so have it on game capture that's usually the best choice and depending on the kind of pc you guys have this one actually matters so um since i have a pretty de a, not decent or very good pc i use the mp4 codec uh, because my PC can handle the rendering and uh, recording at the same time like it compresses the file so um, I use the mp4 codec mine is the Nvidia one because I have an Nvidia graphics card so um, I use that but if you guys don't have a great PC I'd recommend going AVI because then your frames won't die mp4 will not work if you guys do not have a great computer if you average around like over like 300 FPS then you use mp4 um, otherwise, use use AVI. If MP4 starts lagging for you, then use AVI. That's I just want to make that clear. And uh, video size, you can make a 1080 or 720. I recommend 720p because it's just better. Like in my opinion, 1080p can make you lag and stuff. Um, 720p I recommend. And uh, video frame rate, you always want it to 60. Um, unless you don't run 60 FPS very well, then do it 30. Uh, 30 FPS should still be fine, but 60 FPS is very highly recommended. All right, once we get to here, we're gonna want to uncheck everything except record system sounds. You always want to have record system sounds checked. And microphone, uh, you will always realize that it says do not record in the start, so change it to always record. That's something that like everyone screws up on, never realize it's over there. I didn't know that I had to change that for a while, so yeah, it really screwed me over. So let's go over to, um, you guys can skip everything right here, you don't really need to go around about this stuff. But um, now we are on the settings, so this part doesn't really matter. But when you go to the second tab, which is video recording settings, uh, you want to have your quality on high unless this really depends. Like if you have it depends if you have a pretty good PC, like a, like average around over 100 FPS, it, like action doesn't really screw up for you. Then choose high if it kind of screws up for you and like it, it's not that great and FPS like kind of decreases. Try normal or low, but I really recommend high. Um, but this usually it does matter, but not all the time. So yeah, so have bitrate MP4 to 100%, input range to 0 to 255, and uncheck multi use multi core recording. You don't you do not want to have that checked, and have mouse cursor recording on, and uncheck visualize mouse clicks because you do not want that. It will like it'll look weird. Just trust me. And if you guys want to have like an overlay or something, uh, I personally don't use an overlay, but if you guys prefer one, then I guess you guys can use one, but I like personally have never used that. So I wouldn't prefer one. Uh, next, you don't want to go here unless you want a face cam. I've never really tried this cause I don't have a face cam or anything, but yeah, this doesn't really ever matter. Next we are on microphone settings. So, um, after you guys have done done used in voice meter uh, you always want to have voice meter open if you do not have voice meter open then it will not work at all so um, yeah have voice meter open all the time so now we are on audio settings so usually mine would be blue snowball or say if you had a blue yeti or blue spark or something like that it say my uh, microphone blue yeti or something like that but you want to change it from blue yeti or blue snowball whatever microphone you have or you're using to voice meter because then voice meter actually works that's how you get your mic settings to work while you're recording so you want to change it to voice meter um yeah, so it'll have voice meter. If you're, you're using Skype or TeamSpeak, you want to also change your microphone to voice meter. That's the way to make voice meter work. So click voice meter to make it work. Uh, I wouldn't recommend having it at 100% unless your microphone's quiet. Just play around with that. 
and system sounds uh, that's just your headphones whatever headphones or headset you're using and I always have a microphone um, higher than your system sounds like if you're recording a solo video I'd recommend having your microphone like a lot higher like at 80 and your system sounds at 20 or something like that something like that but if you're recording with a person have it a little lower like uh, say like 65 and 35 so you can actually hear the other person's voice uh, that's about that for action and now what you guys want to do is open up Sony Vegas so uh, I'll get into that in a second real here real quick all right so we are on the Sony Vegas part um, so what you guys want to do is open up Sony Vegas if you don't have Sony Vegas um, installed I'll have a link in the description to how to install and all that um, it's a very good program I really highly recommend uh, this is an open file so I'm just gonna click new and that so when you open up Sony Vegas at first it should pop up like this this is what it should look like something similar to my layout um, so first of all what you guys want to do is obviously let's add a video so let's get a short recording here um, say this video it's 94 megabytes it's not a very long video so it usually builds up the peak of the audio track and it, it, it does it pretty quickly so um, here we have our our video so first what you want to start off at uh, let's go to like a video a part that's pretty clear something like this well so what you want to start off at is cl right click the video click switches or a hover around switches and go to disable resample you always want to do that in your videos otherwise the video quality will be very messed up you always always want to do this never have force resample or smart resample change to dis disable resample this is a very important part all right um so next what you want to do is hover around up here where the preview screen is and go to the top left where it says project video properties you want to click that and mine is at custom right now but you want to make new settings so I already have my settings so I don't need to make new settings um, so this is the name you always also rename it to something you will 100% remember and change all the time so you click that and you change your render setting names and make it on all that so depending on if you record it in 1080p or 720p um, then you have to change it to width say if I record it in 1080p then change it to 1920 by 1080 but since I recorded it in 720p we're gonna just use the 1280p by 720p template so next all right, sorry about that but um, next what you want to do is go down to frame rate hover around that frame rate thing and it'll usually be on 30 or something and it doesn't say 60 it does not say 60 so do not click 59.940 do not do that that's not a good decision uh, do just type in like select it and then type in 60 frames so it'll just be 60 and this I don't know it usually should be off but make sure if it's not off then make it off uh, pixel format usually 8-bit keep it at 8-bit okay this one's pretty important it usually is that like draft or good or something so make it best um, you always want your preview screen to be best as well so make full resolution rendering quality on best motion blur type Gaussian blur um, this uh, it should be blend field so just keep it on blend field and uh, have your file I think this should be like always on your preset so um, that's fine you don't really need to touch that uh, and then click start all new projects with these render settings so like every video you open it'll have these render settings all like all opened I guess like when you open it you won't have to redo this unless just always make sure like um, every time you uh, start or open up your video you want to do like click there and check if your render settings are on so mine are obviously on right now so we're gonna click apply and then go to audio actually no not audio uh, I think it was never mind oh everything's good here now <laughs> my bad all right um, so that's all done right there so next what you want to do is actually something that many people do not do this one only works for Minecraft recording if you guys are recording CSGO or speed arts or any other game 
I do not recommend doing this, otherwise it will really ruin the color of your video. This is only for Minecraft purposes, um, this uh, next part I'm about to show you guys. So what you guys want to do is um, uh, make a separate uh, track for your, like, if you guys have an intro that you guys have added, make a separate, separate track, so click uh, insert video track and then insert your intro there, so I will do that right now, we will go to intros. And let's just use my text intro. Um, you do you want to do this because then your intro w colors will not be messed up. So I have my intro there. But what you want to do next is go to the video tab right here where it says uh, three or whatever it says. Wherever your video is, go to the very left and see this uh, little thing right here. Uh, this is like, just please watch this part. It says track effects. You want to click track effects and then... Uh, find try to find Sony color corrector my Sony color corrector is right here it should be right there for you as well but if you guys cannot find it just try finding it uh, it should say Sony color corrector so click OK and this next part you want to save the settings so uh, real real quick just actually my settings are right here so look at the screen take a screenshot of these settings um, for the low of this color correction you just want to have this exact like have it exactly this like this because then you really want to have it on point and exactly so take a screenshot and copy these as well as this part where the saturation gamma and gain is um changed so take a screenshot of this all uh right now i'd recommend to do the exact same settings um yeah so just follow these settings and create like a preset and click save um, mine is obviously named, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter, but then what you want to do is just exit out of that and wait, look, you can tell the difference if you do control Z and then control Y, control Z, control Y, you can see it gets brighter, colors are a lot better if, uh, it just helps out the video quality a lot. Alright, sorry about that. Keep people keep walking in my room. I guess no one in my house really n understands anything about me. But um, yeah, so that's about that. So next one you want to do is select your like to select from end to start. You always want to do this because if you do not do that, it could possibly crash your render. So you don't obviously want that. So you want to select it all and go to the top left and click file render as. But an easier way is where this tab thing is, right next to save as, there is render as. You want to click render as. Let it load up. I don't know why it's taking forever to load. Alright, I loaded all my templates up. So, alright, so normally uh, we will, it'll have, it'll look like this. Normally it will look like this. So you want to go to main concept AVC slash A double AC and the MP4 and AVC kind of thing. So we want to go to main concepts, scroll down to internet i think no it should be like up here it's internet 720p hd or 1080p if you record it in 1080p but most likely you recorded in 720p after watching this video so if you watched uh if you recorded in 720p then that's it makes it a lot easier for you at this point but uh you want to click on that and click all right, well, click customize template, but since I already have my template, I'm just going to show you guys the settings. So I click customize template on the internet 720p HD thing and uh, quickly rename the settings. Um, actually, don't rename it yet. So first you want to go to... All right, again, people just keep walking in my room, but um, you want to go to... This it should uh, should have it checked include video unless if it doesn't say that then check it. But then you want to go to frame size and make custom frame size. You don't not you do not want to use any of these presets. Just click custom frame size, and depending if you record it in twelve eighty by seven twenty p. If you click if you record it in seven twenty p, then make it twelve eighty by seven twenty again. Uh, if it's um if you record it in 1080p then make it 920 by 1080 it, that's pretty straightforward and uh, uncheck allow source to adjust frame size always uncheck that M profile should be main not baseline or high make it main frame rate uh, again you want to create a custom one do not use any of these just select it all and go 60 and then 
check allow source to adjust frame rate check that make sure that's checked fuel order is none that should be like the preset like the regular preset so make sure that's none pixel aspect ratio i never knew what that really does and I, I don't know what these two do so just keep them the same it should be one and two and um here it should say like constant bitrate bp s or variable bitrate do not have variable bitrate checked if it starts off like this make sure you click constant bitrate do not have variable bitrate checked you do, like again you just don't want to have variable bitrate you want to have constant bitrate checked so click on constant bitrate like it'll say it'll usually probably say something like that you never want it that low you never want it that low so mine um since i have a pretty good pc i have mine on 28 million um if you guys have lower end pcs either do 20 million or 14 million depending on what kind of pc you guys have if you guys have really kind of like low cost pc i'd recommend 14 million pretty decent pcs 20 million but pretty good pcs you can go 28 million or higher i'd recommend not going over 28 million because you do not want to crash your computer at all um yeah but 28 million is what i have if you guys want to try that it might take a while for you guys to render but you guys can try that um next you want to go to encoding mode uh change red like if it says render with like any of these like render open cl just do make sure it's on render using cpu only you want to use your cpu to render and click enable progress progressive download next we want to go to project this one you also have to change so change it to uh video change video quality video rendering quality to best it'll usually be on good but change it to best um and this change it just keep it at use project settings it should stay like that this as well as default and then you want to name your settings so mine is fiery settings so i'm just going to keep it like fiery settings but then if you want to say your name is uh josh josh settings make it something that you'll easily see and remember and then you want to click save save template and we are going to go back to just click save template uh that's how you save your template just click that and then i'm, I'm not gonna click click save sorry i can't even talk but then once your template shows up like around at the bottom just scroll around to the bottom of this list and then you want to click the star always click the star uh, i don't need that one clicked so say um say this is what it probably looks like just uh whatever name you named it then uh click the star button and then have this checked so you will only see your render settings so now next time when i click render as i'll see my render settings uh click that if you cannot find it and then click the render settings and click render and that's about it so if you guys really want good quality videos if you find my quality videos good quality then um yeah and also make sure your file path is somewhere good so let me open up sony vegas again i probably should have made that a little more clear but we are gonna go find a video uh, let's just put uh this video in but we want to find a video this is a <laughs> this is the earlier recording earlier recording of voice meter so you want to click render as and name or folder to find your folder so just go like yeah mine is on my documents because that's it's just easier to find it there but if yours is do it should say users slash whatever your pc name is slash documents or videos wherever you want to save it and name always dot mp4 and make it like say you want to name it poop poop dot mp4 and then click render have your render setting selected as well so that's about it guys i hope you guys did enjoy and always thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers and i'll see you guys all later peace